Go back into history on February 24, 1966, Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, was overthrown. The country since then has gone through military and civilian rule, with the current Fourth Republic appearing to have been stabilized. But political historian Nana Isilvi Kundia wants aspects of the constitution on non-partisanship amended to further strengthen it. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah left a stamp on Ghanaian history that continues long after his death. In January 1993, the Fourth Republic came into force after the Second and Third, with the Fourth Republic having been the most stable. Political watchers, however, want aspects of the Constitution amended. From Muntie to the present cry about the president having too much authority, which is something which was crucial in the key decider whether Nkrumah should be taken out or not, is what we're saying. We've come around to see. We are a very polarized country at this moment. A shame. Absolute shame. But how are we going to be able to bridge the gap? I do not know. We have to be able to what? strengthen our institutions, we have to be able to what, um, support civil society activity, we have to be able to what, strengthen, in other words, the frontiers of the country's democracy, so that it will not be just a democracy, but a democracy that will stand the test of time. The political historian says attempts to wipe Dr. Nkrumah's legacy would be impossible. I've heard people argue about this latest curriculum uh, for basic schools, one to six, and the rest of it. But you see, you cannot write about what is not. It is serious, right? You, it, 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 it could amount to, if you like, to um, Sovietism, right? Whereby then um, the leader hailed Caesar when he is not the Caesar. Dr. Kwame Asasante shared in his view. It can work. And it will never work because Nkrumah, um, work that he did is there for the world to see. His problems are also there. 